man get in here so we can have this heavy conversation what's up heavy hitters welcome back to heavy hitter media where we do hot topics men's plus size fashion reviews and reality tv reviews with a little bit more please be sure to subscribe like and comment if you like this as well as other things on my page man let's get it started chrisley knows best stars todd and julie chrisley found guilty in tax evasion and fraud trial damn <laughs> at least they look nice <laughs> After a week's long trial, a jury has reached a verdict in Todd and Julie Chrisley's fraud case. The Chrisley Knows Best couple were found guilty on all counts, U.S. Weekly can confirm. Disappointed in the verdict, the pair's lawyer noted in a statement on Tuesday, June 17, adding that an appeal is planned. Nah, really? A sentencing will be held at a later date. The couple were indicted on 12 counts of tax evasion, bank and wire fraud, and conspiracy in 2019. Todd denied the claims in a lengthy statement at the time, alleging that their former employee, Mark Braddock, was attempting to get revenge on the twosome. <laughs> the twosome, funny. He took a bunch of his phony documents to the U.S. Attorney's Office and told them we had committed all kinds of financial crimes, like tax evasion and bank fraud, Todd said in 2019. That got their attention, all right. But once we had a chance to explain who he was and what he'd done to us, they realized it was a bunch of nonsense and they sent him on his way. <laughs> but they came on back, didn't they? He persuaded a different set of investigators at the U.S. Attorney's Office not only to reopen the case, but also to grant him immunity from prosecution for his own crimes and bring charges against us. Assistant U.S. Attorney Annalise Peters, meanwhile, alleged in court that Todd and Julie obtained more than $30 million in loans by lying about their wealth and earnings. They made up documents and they lied through their teeth to get whatever they want, whenever they wanted, Peters said in court. The attorney also alleged that Todd and Julie continued to hide funds from the IRS after Braddock, who worked with the government on the case, no longer was affiliated with the U.S. of A. Stars. All along, the goal was to hide the money, Peter claimed, alleging that the trio targeted community banks and used scrapbooking to cut and paste parts of financial documents. Baby, that's scrapbooking. When Braddock testified, he claimed that he and Todd had personal relationship of an intimate nature which Chrisley's lawyer denied. I suggest to you that Mark Braddock is the very picture of reasonable doubt. Attorney Bruce Morris pleaded with the jury during his closing statement early this month. Well, they got that, eh? Baby, let's just see what happens. You know how justice looks for them. Again, thank y'all for supporting and watching. Be sure to subscribe, comment, and like. And be easy.